it felt like a victory rally. For a coalition of Catalan pro-independence parties. It succeeded in turning this election into a vote on whether this region should break away from Spain. And as the results came in, they claimed they had won a mandate to set a path towards independence. The pro-independence movement here in Catalonia are painting this as a complete victory. But it is not the win they wanted. It looks like they've got a majority of seats in the Catalan Parliament, but not a majority of votes. They'll even have to team up with a small anti-capitalist separatist party to have a majority of seats. But Catalonia's president painted an ambiguous result as a clear success. We have won the plebiscite. This is the important thing. Will you go for independence now? We have a clear, absolute majority in the Catalan parliament to go ahead. The Spanish government will say he and his movement failed. But in the absence of a real referendum here, his supporters believe they can push ahead. If we don't get a majority in votes, um, we should do. Uh, we should qu question again the population of Catalonia. But the Spanish government won't let you have a referendum, will it? Yeah, that's a problem. So what happens after tonight? Uh, like a new government and with the beginning of the process of independence, I think. Even if you don't have 50% of the votes yes. in this election? Yes, because it, I think it's not fair to count in votes if, 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 if it's not a real referendum. Their ultimate threat is to declare independence without the consent of the Spanish state. It's the tactics of the pro-independence movement to try and pressure Madrid into allowing a proper referendum. Tom Burridge, BBC News in Barcelona.